everyone thank you so much for joining me today for those of you that are new to my channel i want to say welcome and for those of you that are part of the fab lining family welcome back my name is crystal and you're watching fashion beauty and wine so in today's wine down wednesday i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i wanted to bring wine down wednesdays back to what i originally wanted it to be and what i really want wine down wednesdays to be about is wine talk like i literally want to talk about wine touch bases about the style of wine and then I want to go a little bit in depth about the wine itself. So basically what I want to do are focus more on the wine and less on conversation. I want the videos to be smaller. I want them to be to the point, but I want the videos to be videos that you would go to if you need to know something about a particular style of wine. I want these videos to be the videos that regular everyday women, women that are typically my demographic, younger or older, but women that don't know a lot about wine. I want this to be a place for you all to come to this video, learn a little bit about the brand that I'm featuring that day, and then also learn a little bit of background on the wine. Something that's quick, that's cute, that's simple, and something that you and I, we can understand. I want to make this a place where women come to, they feel comfortable enough to talk about wine. This is not a place to pass judgment, to make anyone feel inferior, to make you feel bad, or to make you feel like you don't know a lot. It's literally my little spot on wind Wednesdays that I want to talk to you in everyday language about wine. If you're ready, because I am, I'm ready to crack open this bottle and get down to the get down. So the wine that I'm featuring today is the 2017 Red Tail Ridge Rosé. And before we get into that wine, I really wanted to go over what exactly is rosé. Maybe you know how rosé look or you know a little bit about rosé, but you don't really, really know about rosé. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is asking those time old questions and we're gonna get down to the bottom of what rosé really is. We're gonna be asking, what is rosé? How's rosé made? How long does it take to make and bottle rosé? Is rosé sweet? Or what are the proper ways to serve and store rosé? We're gonna be answering those questions and so much more. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about rosé than what you originally came here for, then let's keep going on this journey. Rosé is a transparent pink wine fermented from red grapes that is primarily served cold. While the wine is derived from red grapes, it is handled very similar to a white wine. Rosé is made from a variety of red and black grapes. There are three ways to produce rosé through maceration, the Sennier method, or by bled method. The first method, maceration, is done by using skin contact method. The skins are what gives rosé and red wines their color. Basically what happens is that the skins are present during the maceration phase. During this phase, the grapes are being crushed and turned into juice with the skins present. The skins are left in the juice anywhere from 2 to 20 hours. This is just enough time to give the wines its pink color. Just to give you an idea, the skins are left on rare wines anywhere from a couple of days to several weeks while white wines are removed immediately. The Sennier method is when a portion of the wine is removed or bled out to produce a rosé. This is usually done during the first couple of hours. The reason for this method is to create an intense concentrated red wine. That is, of course, with the portion that has not been bled out to make rosé. This method is least used but is common with wines from Napa and Sonoma. The blending method is very simple. During this method, 5% or so of red wine is added to a vat of white wine to produce rosé. It doesn't take much for the red wine to make its mark and leave its trail in the white wine. This method is usually practiced in sparkling wines and very little in steel. Like all wines, there are no specific time frames as to how long it takes a winemaker to produce and bottle a wine. This same concept applies to rosés and any other wine for that matter. The development times really vary and tons of factors going to the timing of a wine. Rosé depending on the body, the grape, the harvest, soil, yeast, weather, the maceration process, or really anything can affect the time of production. The biggest misconception of rosé is that it's sweet. Rosé is just not sweet. It takes on many profiles depending on the grape and production process. Rosé, just like red or white wines, can be enjoyed with sweet desserts or hearty meal. They can be produced as light as a muscadet or as dark as a grenache. Rosés can also be sweet or dry, 
bold or delicate, or flat and sparkly. Bottom line is rosé can be made with any red grape and made to fit any profile. Rosé is best served and enjoyed cold. There are some rosés that will open up the warmer that they get, so they're best served at a warmer temperature. However, generally you can't go wrong when you store rosé in a cold area. Lastly, rosé is not just for the ladies. Many people get the perception that rosé is feminine because of the color or the taste perception, and that's absolutely not true. Most of the rosés on the markets are not sweet. There are many different types of styles to fit just about any type of palette. So the next time that you hear rosés are a ladies wine, make sure you shoot that myth down and tell them that I sent you. Now that we have our backstory on rosé, let's revisit the Red Tail Ridge Rosé. Red Tail Ridge Rosé is a 2017 dry rosé made from 100% Pinot Noir with 11.6% alcohol produced by Red Tail Ridge at their Vineyard in Finger Lakes, New York. Finger Lakes, New York is located on the northwestern part of New York along the border of Canada and the Ontario Lake. The Finger Lakes area is a small area that is comprised of five lakes that are positioned like five fingers. This area is cool and wet with a great amount of waterfalls, so it's a great region for growing Pinot Noir. The Red Tail Boutique is located in the heart of Finger Lakes on the western shore of Seneca Lake. Red Tail Bridge specializes in a limited production of cool climate wines. In 2017, the Finger Lakes area had a mild winter and a wet spring. Growing season was cold and wet with the normal harvest season. The soil type is glacial till and siltstone, which is where the subtle amount of minerality comes in when you're tasting this rosé. This rosé is aged in stainless steel for that crisp and refreshing taste with white leaves. Now you're probably wondering, what are leaves? Leaves are basically leftover yeast particles from autolysis, which is a self-destruction of leaf cells by enzymes created from fermentation. Leaves are used in white and sparkling wines to add beneficial textures and flavors, and in this case, they've been added for a bit of texture and taste, which is why I'm pulling subtle effervescent notes and a richer, more robust rosé. I put this rosé in the medium range category because it's not too big, it's not too light, it's right in the middle. You're getting a nice great amount of fruit and robustness however it is still dry don't think that because i am explaining it as fruit for it that it's sweet because it's totally not sweet the palate is very robust and bursting with flavors if you happen to find yourself drinking this wine please comment your thoughts down below and let me know what you think of this wine I think it's absolutely delicious, but like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this wine and let me know what other characteristics you found in this wine. Now, if you found this video interesting, entertaining, or just downright amazing, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. And if you are watching this channel and you're not subscribed, press this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And let's connect. I'm on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat all under keyword to fashion, beauty, and wine. Thank you so much again for joining me. I hope that I'll see you next week in my next edition of Wine Down Wednesday. In the spirit of me, Christopher T, I wish you all nothing but peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Bye-bye. <laughs>